All right, boys, we got a huge team upgrade. Last episode, we didn't upgrade our pitching too terribly much. We got Tyler Matzik on our bullpen. We got to throw with Herman Marquez this game, which means we might be sitting in more of a bullpen game than we would like. That's obviously a worrisome situation, but that being said, we're going to get into gameplay. See you on the selection screen. Hey guys, it's me, uh, post commentary Any Brave 2 here, and I just want to say something before we get fully into the video here, as you can see my opponent's lineup. These games were recorded about two and a half to three weeks ago, as I'm actually going editing and uploading this on Thanksgiving, and it was, it was, uh, recorded about two and a half weeks ago during the week on Wednesday. I'm actually sitting in school and I'm in this game. But yes, so these games were recorded two weeks ago, so don't worry, the finest card during the game, they're coming, I'm a few episodes behind, I wasn't able to record or edit or upload anything for about two and a half weeks, but I'm finally getting back onto that now, there should be two episodes uploaded tonight, early, early in the morning is when I have them set to upload, so that's probably when you're going to see them, but yeah. So you guys should be seeing videos that are coming in the next coming days, weeks, months, however long. I also want to apologize before we fully get into the video for the mic quality in this game. It's pretty terrible, and it changes a lot throughout. But yeah, I'm just letting you guys know that these next four or five episodes are probably going to be behind. I just made World Series, sold Willie Mays for a million stubs, because there's no reason not to do that, really. Because I don't really need Willie, but yeah, okay. Bottom line is, mic quality is going to suck. I'm two and a half weeks behind on uh, uploading the series, so bear with me. I will get them all edited and uploaded. Um, and yeah, enjoy the video. Oh my goodness. What is going on, boys? Why are we lasering everything? Home here. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. So the two Kevin Kiermaier with a perfect, perfect single up the middle. It's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. We're late on it. On the run is it's a little unfortunate. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. The right Infield in the overshift yeah. here. Now the pitch. Griffey. Base hit Good into down. right center. Have anything else? His knuckle curve and his slider are roughly the same speed, which could be a good thing, but it could also be a very bad thing. Good play, Kiermaier. This one here with two gone in the inning, and in steps the iron horse, Lou Gehrig. I mean, that, that's a pitch below the zone, so I don't feel bad. Our, de our de defensive infield right now is looking good with two diamond fielders and two gold fielders. And there you go. Stretch. Look at Ronald, man. We take a four to nothing lead. We have already earned a special pack for three home runs in this game. I think I might have taken that off the list, though. I don't know. We'll Gavin Lux. Okay. Line out. Please don't be a line out. Back up the middle and and that's going to give Gavin Lux a chance so to use his speed to potentially get a triple out of this. I'm going to send Machado. him. He's going to get in there. Go to third. Gavin Lux with a two-out triple. It's going to bring Manny up. Machado. And we're going to check swing and now get the check, check swing there. Manny Machado is going to walk. And, and we him. don't. Minimizing the well, damage at just that sucks. Run. Still the swinging the pitches out over. of the zone. Even though I should have learned my lesson already. But, oh well. High and deep to right. Ronald's gonna get there somehow. I did not think he was gonna be able to get there, but he does. For the second out, for out number two. Bases are empty here with two gone, and up next the catcher Travis Darno. That is one place you can't throw that. Do that hitter, especially with this 125, 125. And we're gonna get out of the second. Erman Marquez throws his second scoreless inning. Oh my God. Tio's going to earn us an upgrade. Perfecto, perfecto. I told you guys the offense was going to explode eventually. I told you guys the offense was going to explode eventually. Because uh, Tio homered twice. Legs churning, he's headed for second. Yeah, that was a closer play than I thought it was going to be. Two down. 
sent on the ground out all barrel nothing doing for Ramon Marquez we do get one more out of it with the Teoscar Hernandez home run three straight innings with the run and we are probably on pace to earn a lot of packs Anticipated. Perfect. Dermont Marquez looking like he's going to get Perfect. out of the Here's third inning without allowing a run. Look at this, dude. We're up 5 nothing, heading to the top of the fourth inning, and Ermon Marquez, the worst starter on my staff, has gone three scoreless. He is going to single the left, though. On a quite suspect pitch, if I do say so myself. we got another runner on base. Gavin Lux is up now. The next three, two. Hit Evan Lux is going to rope one and through the hole. We're going to stop him at third. Gavin Lux is going to move over to second. Perfect, well-executed play. Brings up Manny. Here's Manny, Machado now. Manny with another now chance to do damage to here. He walked his last time up with a chance. This time he's not going to walk, though. He's going to fist in one into there, center field. We're a little hit. late on it. It's going to score two runs. Manny Machado's two for two, and we're now up seven to nothing. Brandon Bell is going to earn another upgrade for the squad. This video is going to be crazy with how many upgrades we're earning, man. This is insane. He's going to line one to right. Griffey has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. Tried to make it home when he shouldn't have, and now they've got him hung up. And, he and he's safe at home. Safe at the plate. We busted him up, baby. And now again, we're up 10 to nothing. I am going to substitute in probably, far. let's go with Jordan. Jordan Alvarez. And we're going to try to push across two Magic more runs here, here and let's get out of here, man. 3-2 to Jordan. Next pitch coming up here will make it an He's going to walk Jordan to bring up Ronald and, and we cycle off. back to the top of the order. Seven. Ronald's got a chance to earn us an upgrade. Comes right off the bat. run shot. Instead it's a foul ball. And we're and late on the fastball. Ah! Gehrig is there and he puts it away. bipolar right now. I'm either all over the fastball or I'm late on it. We're still up 10 nothing. You could tell his eyes lit up on that ball right there. It was a little up, but it was out over the plate. He's going to fist one up the middle. That's really sad. Going to line out to center field. That is what you get for getting a hit on the previous one. Right there, one down. First pitch of the at bat on its way. We're going to get another pop out to Tio and we're one out away. Hernandez. Two down. It's a good pitch, but he holds. Now we got first and second with two down. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. This isn't the result we all thought we'd see in this one. Let's go, boys. That's two in a row. Two in a row on the victory streak. It's about time. We got a mercy rule in that game. We shit on the ball. That was an incredible game. So well played. We played that so well. Max Scherzer we're going to get a mercy rule. We're going to get two times special pack. So, so special pack, special pack for mercy DeRozan rule. Special pack, special Zach pack for 10 runs. We didn't MLB get 15 hits. We didn't get 15 Ks. That does count as a shutout. I'm not going to count it, though. Four hits with lowest overall player didn't happen. Five plus stolen bases didn't happen. Five plus consecutive innings didn't happen. Six consecutive hits. I don't know if that happened. I'm not going to count it, though. Three plus stolen bases. We did get that, so we got a special pack again. So we're at five right now. Three plus homers. We got that one. Ten plus hits. We got that one. Seven plus runs. We got that one. Consecutive innings. Score of the streak. We got that one. I'm going to have to make sure that we don't use all these special packs. So right now we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine special packs. I'm going to knock that down to three and give myself one extra upgrade because of that. Um, how many regular packs did we have? 23 with hits and runs. Let's go look at the box score. So 23 with hits and runs. Um, plus three for stolen bases. Plus zero, we had zero strikeouts. We did have four scoreless innings. 
and we had three starting pitchers scoreless innings. So, that is a combined total of 23, 26, 30, 33 regular packs, three standard packs, plus a Brandon Belt upgrade, a Kyle Higg or a Teoscar Hernandez upgrade. So that's three player upgrades so far. Um, did anyone have three hits? Nobody had three hits. And I think that's going to do it. We got three player upgrades. Three player upgrades, 33 packs, uh, three special packs. All right, let's go open the packs. 685 on our rating. And we have a shit ton of packs to open. We just got the 10th inning program pack. That'll be one of our special packs so that we could potentially get another sick bullpen arm. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and open these special packs right here. Here's our first special pack. I'm going to go ahead and take Andrew Miller out of here, add him to the pen for Colin Poche. We have as many lefties as we need now. I'm going to open a ball and as a habit pack as our other special pack. We get a gold out of there. We get Jordan Alvarez. That sucks because we already have one of those. And I'm going to open a gold player pack as another special pack. Boom, Mike Soroka. He is going to make the rotation as much as Erman Marquez had a phenomenal start. I can't keep him in there. Now, I need to... We got 33 packs to open, so I'm going to go buy a 10-pack bundle. Actually, I'll just buy another 50 because, you know, rich man swag. 33 packs to open, so 72 minus 33 is 39. We're going to have 39 packs left after this. Let's see if we can't pull some heat. I would love to pull a Adalberto Mondesi, potentially Ryan Presley. There's a bullpen option right there. We'll throw him in for Stomont. Gold, Jose Altuve. I doubt he's going to make the squad, but Jose Altuve, we do. He's got 80 power against lefties. Damn, uh, I might throw him in. No, I can't. Uh, he's got no room on the squad. He's got 80 power against lefties, though. He's not going to outbeat those guys, but he is available if we need him. Not a bad pull, but not good enough to make the squad. We're running low on packs here, man. Oh, there we go. All right, bless up that we pull like an Anthony Rendon or somebody like that. Somebody that has a, a higher tier diamond card than just their live series. Or bless up that we pull Kershaw or Garrett Cole or somebody that's a pitcher. Bless up. It is a pitcher. It's a relief pitcher. Is this Kirby Yates? No, it's Devin Williams. That is that is sick because he is for sure going to get a finest card, which is dope. It's dope that we get Devin Williams right there. Let's go. He's going into the bullpen too for probably Freddy Peralta. Perfect. That's a huge diamond pull. Still got seven packs to go. Let's pull some more. Ooh, Davey Garcia. He's got a diamond card. There. Last pack of the vid. Nothing doing. We do pull Swung On and Belted. Clay Buckholtz. Daniel Espin Esp Espino. Zach Godley. And Yimi Garcia. Yimi will probably make the squad. I think he's better than Brandon Morrow, so we're going to throw him in there. And now, while I go and um, put what's-his-bucket Ryan Presley back in our bullpen, I do want to remind you guys to like the video and let me know if you should make if I should make changes to this series on how I run it because really, I don't have a clue what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of just kind of doing what I'm doing. This Ryan Presley card can be upgraded, actually. Oh, yeah, we have three upgrades that we can do. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. So we have three upgrades to the squad that we can make. I can't do anything to my bullpen right now, I don't think, and upgrade anybody right now, at least. I can throw Presley in there, but I really don't want to. I don't think Yimi has a diamond card. It's Kinsler from them that got a diamond card. And Stanek, yes. But, yes. What I am going to do is I'm probably going to upgrade Jack Flaherty. I'm going to get at least one more bullpen or starting pitcher in there. I'm going to upgrade Jack Flaherty to his diamond card, wherever it is. It's right there. Probably going to be low on energy, but that's all right. I'm also going to upgrade Mike Clevenger to his diamond card that he has. Boom. There you go. 
And then on the offensive side of the ball, I'm going to upgrade Kyle Higashioka to his diamond card that he has. And before you know it, boys, we are we are almost all diamond out. And I get I get it. I could have took Will Myers and put him at first, but Brandon Belt's been so good for me that I, I wouldn't even consider doing that at this point. Brandon Belt's just been incredible for me. But yeah, uh, if you did like the video, we, I told you the offense was going to explode, and it did. And so, yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, let me know. Uh, subscribe and all that stuff. And yeah, love y'all.